subscribe to my channel. Now today I'm going to be giving a review for the NECA Halloween 2018 quarter scale Michael Myers figure, which you can see I have right here. Now I'm very excited about getting this figure, you know, because it's been a while since I've had like a quarter scale or 18 inch size Michael Myers figure, you know, because the last one I actually had was the one from McFarlane Toys, like the movie Maniac series. I can't remember picking that Michael Myers up figure up when it was originally released, I think like back in 2000, you know. I was really anticipating that one at the time. But this is right here, a new quarter scale version. And of course, this is based on uh, the recent Halloween film from uh, 2018, which I have right here. <laughs> now, of course, we all know that was a direct sequel to the 1978 original Hall Halloween film, you know. But uh, now, again, this is also uh, just like a quarter scale version, 18 inch version of this uh, 7 inch version Michael Myers figure, which is an excellent figure, you know. So yeah, I'm definitely excited about picking this one up. You know, I've been really wanting to get this one, you know. So I'm going to just get into it. <laughs> now, as you can see, this here is the actual box of the other uh, figure. And you actually can see the uh, Michael Myers like, figure on the inside with the accessories that he has too as well. I also like the image of him right there on the side too. I think that's an awesome box art, you know. It's actually showing the figure, you know. And you see the accessories right there. Now it also says um, Halloween right there on the side too as well. And of course it has like an image of the figure right there itself too, like on the back. Now it also has like a scripture too for the figure too as well. It says it's been 40 years since uh, since Laura Strode survived a vicious attack from crazed killer Michael Myers on Halloween night. She now faces a terrifying showdown when Michael returns to Haddonfield, Illinois. But this time, Lori is ready for him. Now it also says uh, what the, uh, the figure includes too. It says that uh, it has a knife, a hammer, a victim head, and interchangeable hands too as well. So I'm going to just open this on up. <laughs> as you can see, this is the background insert. There comes up the other figure. This is also the um, the seven inch scale version of the Austin Michael Myers, you know. Yeah, the same background. I like how Nick kind of did this one too, cause I was actually able to pull this out with the uh, the figure in it, you know, and it didn't rip it all up, you know, like it usually does, you know. So I think that's kind of cool. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, here's the uh, quarter scale Michael Myers figure based on, again, the Halloween 2018 film, you know. Now, I must admit, already I can tell that this figure, I think, is superb. This is probably one of the best quarter scale figures that I have gotten from NECA already, you know. Now, I do have him on a, a Kyrus or Doll stand right now, as you can see. Just in case, you know, he, like, would tumble over, you know. But he seems to be uh, standing pretty well. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, it looks like he can actually stand up. I'm going to give it a try. Now, when I measure Michael Myers, he stands, yep, yeah, about 19 inches. When I actually measure him, he's like 19 inches in length. Actually higher, you know, if you like raise his arm all the way up, it's actually kind of like higher, you know. Probably you might make it to about 20. But yeah, as you can see, the figure does seem to be uh, standing pretty well, you know. But what I do first is actually touch on Michael Myers' uh, articulation. But first of all, I'm going to touch on like, the detail of the figure itself. This really is like an amazing figure. I think this really is like a good sculpt for his head, you know. I like how you can even see like the um, the eyes within, you know. You can see like the, uh, the blinded eye right there real good. You also can see like his regular eye right there too as well. I think that's cool. I like like the cracks and like the, uh, the wear and tear of the mask. Because being supposed to be the same mask from the original 78 film, you know. I think that's kind of cool. I like how you can still see the uh, the wound in his neck from when uh, Laura stabbed the uh, the knitting tool in his neck. I think that's cool. Hair is nice too as well. You also see like a bullet hole right there on uh, Michael Myers' uh, chest too. You can see like, the bloody like wound in it. I think that's awesome. I like how you can see like, the uh, the shirt underneath. That's just amazing. And the, uh, the coveralls themselves are just superb. I 
I like how it feels. Now this is plastic, but it does have like this feel to it, you know. I like how you can see the, uh, the wrinkly like look of the clothes too as well on the back. And even Michael Myers hands, you know, like the bloody, the bloodiness of them is just, just awesome. That really looks like good, nice and detailed. I like how you can see the, uh, the actual veins in it too. The blood splatter is nice too. Even like on this other hand too as well, you know, it's like lots of blood in it. And you have like the shoes too, nice little boots. <laughs> hey, off the, off the bat, I think this already does have awesome articulation. As you can see, you can lift Michael's arms up easily too. They're not stiff either, as you can see. You like turn them like that. You can fold them. And they move very well too. They're not, you know, like stiff like most like the, uh, the figures are, quarter scale figures, you know. You can bend his knees too. And as usual, like one actually bends better than the actual other one, you know. Now his waist, it can't really uh, like move, you know, it's like kind of like stiff. And I guess probably because I did the coveralls, you know. <clears throat> Michael Myers' hands can be uh, turned too as well, as you can see, you can like rotate them. And then even like the other one, you can like rotate, you know, you can like rotate it. And I love like the head sculpt. I love when they could get their, their figures such good head articulation. You actually can like tilt his head like that, or you can tilt it like that. You can turn to the side, you know. You also can like look up. And you also can like look down too as well. Oh, I really am enjoying this. I think this is awesome. And there is feet, as you can see, he has like this delay where they can turn, and his feet too, as well, can be turned. Now, what I do is actually talk about Michael Myers' uh, accessories. And of course, the first thing he comes with is, is his actual uh, trademark stick signature weapon, the butcher knife, <laughs> or you can say kitchen knife. Now, that really is awesome. I like how the blood looks like it's like, you know, like he actually did, like stabbing in somebody. It's not Overly like filled with blood, it actually just like a smear. I think that's nice. Even like on the other side, they have it too as well. Now I do notice that the handle, it looks like it like a shot at them two uh, metal things. I don't know if you call them like those should be in there, you know. And the knife itself, I think this measures about three inches. The knife itself is about three inches. The next accessory that uh, Michael Myers comes with is the actual like bloody hammer too. Nicely detailed too. I like how the blood is always slick and like like wet wet too. That's just so awesome. And I bet if I really look really close at the film, the hammer really did look exactly like this. Even had like that slot up top. I like how they even have like a little bit of the blood going down like the uh, the wooden handle. I think that's superb. And the blood really does look beautiful too. It looks, you know, like it's wet, you know. It has like that silky shine to it. I think that's awesome. The detail in it. I measure this, even the hammer is about like three inches, like a length. Mm -hmm. And another accessory that Michael comes with is this gruesome uh, officer here, and I think it was Officer Fra <laughs> Francis, if I can remember correctly. Because that guy that actually did this, actually, uh, 
made the mask in the film is known as uh, Christopher Allen Nelson, and he's actually the one you know that played as officer in the film. He's the same guy that actually designed uh, Michael Myers' mask, like in this new film, you know. But he was uh, the, the same makeup artist that played this character. So as you can see, this is nicely detailed. A little too much on the gory side for my tastes, but I still think it's cool, you know. <laughs> like I said, that scar back there too as well, you can see it like real good. And just like the, uh, the 7 inch one, you can actually put like a light in this, you know, and uh, light up the, uh, the officer's head. Like I see that guy had this light. You can actually put that up in there and it lights it up. Mm -hmm. I am thinking about doing something like that too, you know, and have it like on display. That is like a cool effect. <laughs> then the quarter scale Michael Myers figure has a, a set of like three hands. You got like a palm hand, like an open, like grabbing type hand, I guess you could say. But it's like bloody and like very detailed, you know. And like I like said, the blood like on the kn the knuckles and so on. And the second one is this actual like a I guess you could say like a gripping type hand, although it's like a fish, you know. And it has like blood on it too as well. Like blood spatter. You can tell this is like just like another grip of hand, like like the hammer or something like that can go in it or the knife, you know. Like how you can say the veins in it, superb. This is just amazing. The detail in this. <laughs> and I guess you can say the hand that really stands out the most would be this hand right here, you know. The one that was actually um blown off by her lower stroke. A spoiler alert if you haven't seen the film, you know, where you're actually missing just two fingers. When she shot him off. I'm kind of curious how it's going to carry on to the next two films too. Halloween Kills and Halloween Ends. Because obviously Michael Myers would be like this now in those, those two films. But I like how you can the blood and like, you know, flesh of his wound. I think that's kind of awesome. You can tell like the bullet had went through his skin too and blew the skin off. I think that's nice. I'd probably be just spam out with this hand too a lot of times. Now this is the hand that Michael Myers hired a hat on, which is like bloody, too. And I think this is like the one that's really for like his knife, to hold his knife. And this right here is the actual left hand of Michael Myers, which is like bloody too as well. I know it's also that these hands, they came off very well too. They came off very easy, you know, I had no, no trouble with them, you know. Now what I do is actually, uh, Tron, like one of your alternate hands, this is like a hand that uh, Michael Myers came with, and it's like his left hand. So I'm going to just, uh, try to put it on over here. Now when I put this hand on, I actually put the, uh, the hammer in it, because I think that's the one that's really like for the, uh, the hammer, you know, as you can see. I just put it on. So yeah, it did go in pretty good. And this was also like the uh, palm, like the grabbing hand that Michael had. So I'm going to just put this on too. Now I noticed that like the uh, the hands, I have no trouble actually putting them on. They really go on like pretty good, you know. So as you can see, there's like a gripping hand for uh, Michael too. As you can see, he has a nice grip hand. Now, this is another hand I'll probably be using, too, for the figure. Then I'm going to try to put this hand right here on. Now, this, is, of course, is the, uh, the damage wounded, or battle damage hand from when Lori blew his fingers off. So, I'm going to see if it goes on. Like I can see, actually, it's just, they snap right on there, too. And I, I don't have to force it. I didn't even have to use, like, the, uh, like a blow dryer or anything. It just, it just went right on there, you know. As you can see, there's the, uh, the blow it off hand. 
<laughs> and last but not least, there's Michael Myers' trademark butcher knife, like in his hand. I got it like in a stabbing like position, you know. <laughs> I thought I would have to loosen up with like the hair dryer, but it seemed to uh, go in uh, pretty good, you know. I didn't have to really like loosen it. Okay, now what I do is actually compare the quarter scale Michael Myers from Halloween 2018 with the actual seven scale one. So as you can see, here's the uh, the seven scale version of the figure. <laughs> So as you can see, you can see the actual difference in both these figures, like the, the tremendous difference in these figures, you know. I must admit, I am really getting like a soft heart for these quarter scale figures. They are just so amazing, you know. And they are better for like the span, but they're so large, you know. But as you can see, here's the actual, um, you have the uh, the seven inch Michael Myers figure right here. And then you also have the, uh, the quarter scale Michael Myers figure too up here as well. So you can see like the, uh, the size difference. And both figures, you know, <laughs> and this is still an awesome figure and a large figure to have. You know, it's like good to have around, like, like you know, like on your desk or something like that. You know, I still love these figures too as well. You know, <laughs> and the uh, the next accessory that I'm going to compare, like do a size comparison with, is this, uh, the actual butcher knives. So you can see right there, like the actual like size difference. And both of these knives. <laughs> that is much larger. And then they gave us blood on this one, you know. Plus those like two those two like dot things that were on the on this knife, they were actually missing from that one, you know, but you can see the uh, actual size difference in both of these knives, you know. And then the uh the next accessory that I'm gonna do a comparison with is the actual uh, hammers. As you can see here, they did the uh, two hammers. This one is much larger than this, and they are the same like hammers. You know, they had that same blood on them, but you can see that like, the difference. You know, it's just really amazing. You know. And then the next accessories too are these like all uh, these these hands. Right there, as you can see, this side. Oh, yeah, and by the way, this is some tweezers I just decided, you know, <laughs> to bring in. But you can see the actual size difference between like the palm hands. I think these are the same hands. This one is like for the quarter scale, like this one. And this is for like, the seven scale figure. And this right here is the, uh, the actual battle damage hand, too. You can see the difference, you know, how much more massive. This one is than the actual the seven inch one, you know. It just really is amazing. And this right was like the other uh, left gripping hand for this the seven inch figure. Then you have the, the left gripping hand for the uh, the quarter scale figure. And this right is the other uh, left palm hand that was already on Michael Myers. And you can see the size difference in both of these two as well. And this is the last uh, hand, you know. You can see the actual like, the, the difference in the hands. And this is the right like fist gripping fist. I guess you could say for like, the knife. One more thing I wanted to compare. <laughs> Look at the actual size difference between like the heads. That really is something else. And this is the actual same face that's actually on that one where you can see Michael Myers like eyes. As you can see like his eyes in that one. And you also can see him in that one, you know. But you can set the size difference in the two. And the last accessory. Is the actual officer's head, as you can see. <laughs> I think Francis, like I mentioned, and this is the guy that the guy that played this character. He's actually the guy that designed uh, Michael Myers' mask in this film, which is supposed to be like an older version of the original seven eight film mask, which of course you know was a way of shattering the mask, which they turned white and so on. 
and not get handsome and do things to it, which made it become Michael Myers bash, you know, that we know. Cause even this one lit up too as well, you know, just like this one, they both like lit up. Okay, so that's the NECA Halloween 2018 quarter scale Michael Myers figure. And I really do enjoy this figure. I think it's a superb and excellent figure. It's much better than I thought it would be. And I think it's just easy. Probably one of my best like quarter scale size figures, you know, from NECA. I think it's probably, probably, probably like my best or my second, you know. Of course, this Michael Myers is based on the... Uh, the Michael Myers that was in the, the 2018 Halloween film, which I have right here. And again, I was a direct sequel to the original 1978 film, which is my all-time favorite movie anyway, you know. <laughs> John Carpenter's classic, you know. But yeah, I think this figure is amazing. He comes with a bunch of accessories, you know. But like I said, the articulation, and I was really surprised that, you know, he was able to like, fold and bend and go into all different kinds of poses. And he seemed to stand pretty well, too. I'm still using like a Kaiser doll stand from him, but he does seem to be able to stand like pretty well too as well. But I think this is an amazing figure that's just awesome. This is probably easy one of my best figures of the year too as well, you know. So yeah, this is the NECA Halloween 2018 quarter scale Michael Myers figure. I would definitely recommend picking this one up, you know, especially if you're like a Michael Myers fan or like a definite fan of that particular version, you know. Please leave a comment and uh, subscribe too as well. Happy Halloween, Michael.